I am Slick Nick, the living legend of hair loss, your personal hairline hero, and of course, the red pill pusher of hair loss. I recently made a video that received many, many comments, very engaging, called Did I Get a Hair Transplant? Why I Am Not Norwood 4 Yet. So out of the many comments, the one I wanna focus on for this video is Dr. Casey. Is Dr. Casey a real doctor? I don't know, maybe he's like Dr. Berg, who I watch all of his videos on YouTube. Is he a real doctor? He's a chiropractor, but either way, his teachings on intermittent fasting and carb backloading is what I've been applying and it's been working. So, real doctor or not, if you have wisdom and knowledge that I can learn from, I can appreciate that. So Dr. Casey had this to say, quote, yeah, in a lot of cases, hair loss does slow down massively during the 30s. James Rolfe is one example, which by the way, when I think of the first YouTuber I ever watched, it's James Rolfe. He's the angry video game nerd. I've seen all of his videos. I keep up with him. And he is the first YouTuber I ever really thought of as a YouTuber. So yeah, I've been watching him for well over a decade. The angry video game nerd. If you somehow don't know about his videos, definitely check them out after this video. So James Rolfe is one example. He had a pretty rapid period of hair thinning during the end of his 20s and the beginning of his 30s, but then it slowed down and he remained looking the same year after year. And now he's 40 and his hair is perfectly fine. There's also a lot of historical fig figures who lost much hair during their youth, then in subsequent decades lost very little and ended up having much more hair at 50 or 60 or 70 than you would have expected. Society has expectations of hair loss kind of backwards and that it thinks an old person issue when it's actually a young person thing. Man, that's clever. I am jealous of you for saying that. Man, I love that. I mean, I have to start saying that, that hair loss is, or maybe I should at least put that as the title of, of this video, that male pattern baldness is a young person thing, not an old person thing. I think that, well, and it goes, you know, back with, with, with my theory though, that age 35 is the determining age on whether you're ultimately going to be bald most of your life or not. You aggressively go bald before the age of 35, not after. So, and granted, for all I know, Tom Hanks may have had a hair transplant. But Tom Hanks have, has always kind of had a, a Norwood two and a half slash three thing going on. He's always been that way. And even now that he's in his 60s, he still is that way. Maybe he had a hair transplant to kind of keep that in place. Maybe, maybe so. But even if he did, there's plenty of men in that situation who, again, if you do most of your hair loss before the age of 35, in theory, you're going to keep most of that hair for the rest of your life. I always use Johnny Cash as an example. He was a Norwood too most of his adult life. It wasn't until 60s and 70s that he had more of a diffuse uh, hair loss situation. It wasn't so much male pattern baldness, it's just the hairline he had for the most part was still intact, but just the hair started falling out. That's, that's, that's different. But again, look at the video in the description. Look at the five things that help you predict if you're gonna go bald. Ultimately, I still feel this is very accurate. And some men, look like they're gonna be going bald, and then it stops because they meet, reach, that, reach that magical age of 35. And yes, there are exceptions to the rule. There are men who have a perfect head of hair until 40, and then they start going bald. Or maybe they have diffuse thinning that kicks in, and then it's like, well, they're not bald, and they have a low hairline, but they, you can see their scalp. There's always exceptions to that. But man, viewers, can you accept that? Can you accept the truth that it, the age 35 thing, like you're more likely to aggressively go bald before age 35 instead of after. That's really what it comes down to. Thanks for the comment. And remember that video's right there. You can watch and learn more.